I'm going to begin, uh, Glenn, just asking what it was uh, that initially attracted you to getting involved in this project. I would say the the first thing that attracts you to a movie like this is Mike Newell. Um, he's one of the greatest directors of all time, and obviously, you know, British royalty here. Um, but you know, look, he, in in terms of, I, th I think this is his strike zone in terms of movies he makes, and I think, I mean, he, I think he did hit up hit it out of the park with this movie. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm definitely into, that's that's where it all starts as filmmakers, and if you can work with an A-list one like Mike Noel, you're, uh, you're doing it right. I mean, actors are always asked if they read the book, which is probably the most boring question in the world, and I'm sure most of the time you probably do, but in this instance, I mean, it's a great book, isn't it's it? It's a great book. It must have been such a great experience, and, and I guess sometimes as an actor, it must be great to have the opportunity to read great books, because I guess you get offered scripts, and you do, so many films are based on, on sort of literature. It's a really great chance to, to explore books and stories you might have perhaps sort of missed otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that is kind of the, the I would say that probably some of the greatest movies we've had the past, you know, over the decades have, have been from books. Um, that's where some of the greatest stories are actually get you get to explore. In this one, I would say that in terms of character development, because I think Tom Bazooka interpreted this book in a very different way. It was actually, I mean, it's not like a straight adaptation. Um, he's obviously adapting quite, you know, letters and things like that and, and, and filling in a lot of gaps. So the, the book does add some color, um, but the script is, a, it's kind of its own animal uh, in a lot of ways. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, re it's really fun seeing, seeing um, all my mom's friends, whenever I say the <laughs> Guernsey, the Literary Potato Peel Pie Society, they just light up. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely beloved um, all over the world. So, yeah, it's an honor to be a part of this one. Well, you must have given it a short name on set. You can't have called it the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society every time you were kind of referring to I it. I call it the Guernsey Literary <laughs> and Potato Peel Pie Society every time. Every time. Every time. Great. You can't go lazy on this shit. You can't. <laughs> Don't. And one of the things I love about it is, <laughs> is the kind of spirit of, of the people in this. I mean, so often when we delve into, into wartime, it's, all, it's so much about death and destruction, but this is really about community and hope. Is that, that's one of the great things, isn't it, about this story, is that it's, despite being this, the setting of the film, it's actually a film, really, I think, that's a celebration of kind of humanity. I completely agree. Yeah, I think, I think um, you know, in terms of literature in general, over the, over the course of, of uh, I mean, since, since the, uh, since the, um, the, what was the, the printing press, it was it the Gutenberg printing press? What was that in like fifteen? No, whatever, a long time ago. I mean, literature has has been you know something that kind of unifies people. Um, it, it 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 adds collective stories. It's you know you don't have to do fireside chats for you know things to be passed down. You can kind of all over the world. You can kind of share in a collective experience. And I think um, in horrible times, and especially you know what people witnessed during World War II and after, um, I think it gave people hope. I think it gave people. Um, a sense of community and a, and a sense of, of purpose and, and um, in, in troubling times. So I think, I think this is a really special movie and I think it's a, a really cool way into uh, kind of an era of history that nobody really knew about, you know, through a book club. It's so simple. And just finally, uh, talking about sort of community, I mean, one, the, the camaraderie between the characters and Everybody Wants Some, which, by the way, is still <laughs> one of my favorite yeah, films. Yeah. I, just, I just adore that yeah. so much. I just wonder, do you keep in touch with all the guys? Do you all still meet up? I've got this like fancy that you all just meet up and have drinks No, it's like, out. they're at my house quite a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love those guys. We're, on, we're constantly on a group text. Um, we have game nights at the house. They're all there. Um, yeah, we talk, we talk to each other. I mean, look, everybody's had their own success after that movie, so everybody's kind of scattered to the winds, but we do try to get the Cherokees back together as much as humanly possible. Um, I love those guys. That was, that was one of the most special uh, filming experiences, I think. I don't know if I'll have another one like that. Because really, uh, one, one of the cool things about this movie is Mike Newell loves to rehearse. Richard Linklater loves to rehearse. You know, these great directors, um, it's a gift for an actor to be able to sit with these people and, and pick apart a character and, and pick apart a script and try to figure things out. Um, and all the, the greatest filmmakers love to do that. And that was a great thing is camp for three weeks uh, before we started Everybody Wants Them. Um, just playing baseball, playing games and like, you know, reading through the script. And Mike Newell did the same thing. We just got to go through. Mike, Mike's very um, intense with his rehearsal. Uh, you know, Rick just kind of, you know, goes on his back foot. Uh, Mike Newell, it's, it's, it's full on, you know. He's, he's right in your face doing the whole thing, but it's great. Yeah, but it gets good results. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the, the performances in, in Mike's movie over the course of time is he, he, he can coax it out of you, you know, even if you're as untalented as I am. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time today. Much yeah, thank you, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, You Guys.
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.